A warm welcome to all global uh, teachers and wonderful students. I'm so happy and uh, so honored to have you, sir, Adnan, sir, and uh, teacher Ali, and your students. Uh, welcome to this, uh, our project, uh, the Global Leadership Lab Project by the Changemakers at Class to Class Organization. It's uh, really a pleasure uh, to see uh, so many bright, and wonderful students from around the globe uh, are joining this project. Uh, today, we are happy to have you, sir, uh, from Pakistan and your wonderful students. And here, what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to um, have a discussion uh, session about what is leadership. This is the introductory uh, step one of uh, design thinking. This project is level three in class to class. And we are gathered here to embark um, the exciting uh, journey of uh, this learning and uh, the growth and the collaboration among our uh, students. This project is uh, about uh, developing the leadership skills. It is about empowering each one of you uh, to become the change makers in your uh, own communities and beyond that communities, you're all now the global students. That is the main thing now. Uh, our journey is uh, now aligned with the sustainable development goals uh, by the UNESCO, particularly uh, this project is uh, based on the quality education and partnership or a partnership uh, for the goals, the 17, the goal number 17. By participating in this project, uh, you are contributing uh, to the global movement that is aimed at creating better and uh, a more beautiful, sustainable future. Uh, and we are very happy um, and exciting to spend here our time uh, this is uh, going to be a, a great, um, uh, it will be of uh, six sessions. So this is our uh, first session. Now remember, leadership is not about uh, leading others. It's about uh, leading ourselves and setting an example and making a positive impact. Uh, together, we are going to uh, uh, get together and uh, have some changes within us. When we are going to complete our project, it is going to be a great change. Okay, I welcome you all. Uh, it's great to have you all here. Let me show my project. One second, let me share the screen. So this is going to be a conversation session, discussion. We are going to discuss. I hope the screen is visible to everyone. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. So this is the introduction to the Global Leadership Lab. Uh, here, um, I would like uh, Adnan sir to call your students to just introduce themselves first so that my okay. students will be uh, knowing about your students. Yes, uh, first we start with uh, Ali. Ali is one you go ahead because he is uh, not only my students, but he's teaching uh, kids as well. And he is uh, going to be uh, a future teacher as well. Amazing. Uh, along with them, yeah. So, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hi, everyone. My name is Ali Rizwan, and I'm an O-level student studying in Jaffa Public School, and my teacher is Sir Adnan Jamil, the great of all. And I'm also teaching students like maths and in academies and tuitions. As well. That's my introduction. Thank, Thank you. you. Warm welcome, teacher Ali. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Hazika, you go ahead, please. Hi, my name is Hazika Asim. I live in Tracy, California, USA, and I go to um I do homeschooling at there's a school here called Tracy Independent Study Charter School, and I'm going in ninth grade. Amazing, great Bye. to have you here, Hazika. So nice, happy to meet you. Yes, Rabin, you go ahead, please. If you're there. Hello, my name is Rami Oman. And I am from Pakistan and currently studying O-Levels. Thank you. Happy to meet you, Ramin. So nice. So nice of you. Good. I think that's it. Uh... Okay. Let me call my students to introduce themselves. Sir. 
Uh, yeah. Let me call uh, Ramanisha. Please introduce yourself. Yeah, hello everyone. This is Ramanisha from India. I'm 15 years old and I'm studying grade 9. Great, great Ramanisha. Bhavatarni, could you please introduce yourself? Yes, hello everyone. This is A.S. Bhavadarni from Teen English India. I'm so happy to meet you all and I'm so glad that I'm here. And uh, after hearing that topic, the leader, I'm so happy that there is a coincidence. Now in present, I'm the class leader of my class and here I have my badge. Perfect. Wow! <laughs> so That's nice, Bhavatarni. So nice. Wonderful. That's really good. <laughs> yeah. So nice. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, let me call Praneveshwan. Please introduce yourself. Hello, Praneveshwan. Okay. Who else is here now? Yes, Harini. Harini, please introduce yourself. Harini, unmute and introduce yourself. Myself, Harini, I'm studying in 6th standard. My school name is ABS Vidya Mandir. My hobby is uh, a drawing. My aim is doctor. Thank you. Uh, very good. Very, very good. good. Very good. Let me call Pani Malar. Introduce yourself. My name is Pani Malar. I'm studying 5th in Tiruvallur. My school name is Jeannie Gitan Parasala. My hobby is drawing and painting. Drawing, <sighs> That's all. Okay, very good, Pani Malar. Let me call Fidda to introduce yourself. Fidda Okay, let me call Famina. Hi, Famina. Hi. Introdu introduce yourself, please. Hi, everyone. I am Swamina Begum from Tiruvallur. I'm studying in the first year B BA English. And my, my hobby is drawing, writing, watching mobile TV, hearing music, etc. And my, I want to become an English teacher. Thank English you. teacher. That That's is so great. nice. That is great. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Adnan yes. sir is very happy now. <laughs> yes. My, very good. I mean, very good students from India. And hmm. uh, basically, I just want the Pakistani and the Indian students and even the Bangladeshi students also yes, to sir. have many projects together. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Talent, talent and knowledge. Many of your students uh, really like sketching and drawing. Yes, sir. Yeah. I want one of them to sketch me. Wow. <laughs> Some, sure, sure, yeah. sir. Okay. Sure. Yes, yes, okay. Vaishnavi, yeah. please go on. Vaishnavi, introduce yourself, Vaishnavi. Hello. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm Vaishnavi. Uh, I'm studying in 9th standard in uh, Sri Aranjan Vidyashram mm -hmm. and my hobby is to listen music and read books and my ambition is to uh, become an IAS officer. Thank oh, that's you. Great. That's great. Firdaus, Firdaus, could you please introduce yourself, Firdaus? Hi, this is Firdaus. I'm from India. I'm doing CMA courses. That's nice. Okay. Okay. okay, let us start our session now. So what is my aim is, uh, I am going to ask the first question. Uh, first, uh, I'll be giving chance to Pakistan. Uh, from there, uh, Adnan sir will be calling one student. Sir, let me start yeah. now. What makes a good leader? Yeah, uh, my students will uh, give their opinions. Yes, uh, sir. And basically... Uh, I told them not to prepare whatever is in your mind. Yes, just, they have uh, to talk. talk about it. Yes, yeah. sir. That is perfect. So, uh, Hajika, you go ahead with this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The question is, what makes a good leader? I think a good leader is 
someone who can inspire and motivate others, communicate effectively, and demonstrate integrity and empathy. Um, their communication is very clear and effective. Uh, um, okay. Like good leaders are able to communicate clearly and effectively to provide uh, to provide feedback and um, tell tasks to their workers and like people they're leading. And there's empathy. Empathy can help le leaders gain the trust and support of their um, team and provide teamwork. Um, okay. Amazing. Very good. Very good in, points. Yes. There's integrity. Um, leaders with integrity are honest and have like um, and, and have moral principles. They act in a accordance with their words they choose like the right words when they're talking um they have active listening um like good leaders listen to people with attention and sincerity which helps them understand people and their perspectives um when i was in school we used to have um class um like elections, like for the class president. And I almost got the seat, but just by, um, I, I needed to like promise the people that I would um, like make the school much. I, I mean, I wouldn't do anything, but like being just for being a class president, we have to, um, we have to, I had to make a speech and then um, I had, I had to, I needed I needed to like um when I was trying to say that um when you when we're like uh going in election like elections or anything they are very promising so that they they will they'll do this or that um self awareness um self awareness can impact a leader's ethical stances and relationships with employees so no. they have good relationships with their employees they're not rude or anything they're creativity creativity a uh, creative leaders can drive productivity and um success in an organization and lastly they have re resilience re resilient leaders have perseverance and positively impact the workplace, even in challenging situations. Gotcha. Um, amazing, Hasika. You have given wonderful points, very detailed answer. Um, and I'm so happy to hear about your own experience as a leader in your school. That's very impressive. Wonderful, Hasika. Very good, yes. Okay, let me call one Indian student to answer yeah. about um, the first question. Uh, let me call Bhavatharni. What makes a good leader, Bhavatharni? Ma'am, sorry for the thing that uh, I could not on my video as my network is not that good. So to balance it, I'm just uh, turning off my video. Is it okay, ma'am? Yes, yes. Okay, Bhavatharni. Okay. You can start. Uh, and a good leader to me is someone who uh, poses a combination of quality that inspires and uh, empowers others to work towards a common goal. That's what a team does and does that. And a good leader should be able to balance their own interests with the needs of their own team. Because leader can be there uh, being efficiently decision making and a lot and lot. But a great leader and a good leader always tries to inspire their team and motivates them to work a lot and give their good and best things. That's wonderful. Very, wonderful. Very good. Caring the team is the main for a uh, good yes. leader. From your point of view, so that you are carrying the team. That's amazing. Wonderful Very children. Good. You both uh, presented the first question. So nice. Uh, let us move to the next question. How do leaders inspire their teams? 
how they do so what are all the ways they do i would like to ask uh, uh, students of uh, ali sir your students are there or would you yeah, like yeah. to present anything yes yeah, i would like to give my point of view hello yes, yes please Going yes no. Firstly, I'm sorry that I cannot open my camera because same here internet issue. But I will cover up with the details and my point of view. Yes, I understand. I think that's okay. Yes, please. Yeah. According to me, leaders inspire their teams by setting a compelling vision and demonstrating passion for their goals. I mean, they communicate clearly and authentically, showing confidence in their teams and abilities by recognizing their achievements, providing support, and creating a positive, inclusive environment. They build. Uh, trust and motivation. According to me, leaders also model resilience and a strong work. That's what I think. And I will give you a, I mean, practical example that in my school there was a competition about business showdown, and I was sent by Sir Adnan Jamil to a school in which we presented our ideas, and I inspired my team a lot by showing them a great opportunity to stay. I spent. I mean, I gave them great opportunity to show up their business, and it was a great thing. Thank you. That's amazing. That's so wonderful. Great, Ali. That's great, Very Ali. Good. We are so happy to hear your personal uh, story. Amazing. Very inspiring. Mm -hmm. Really. Thank you. Yes. Right. Let me call uh, Ramanisha. Uh, could you please answer the second question? How do leaders inspire their teams? What are all the ways they inspire? Your yeah. points, please. Yeah. Like, according to me, uh, my personal opinion, like being a leader itself, a very difficult task. And inspiring the team members or the teams is a very tough thing to do. If they want to inspire someone or their teammates, they want to be perfect in both things, both the leadership and their personal work to do. If they are not uh, perfect in their personal work, uh, the team members don't inspire them. They thought that they are only good in leadership. So the leader wants to uh, perfect in both leadership and the personal thing which he wanted to do. And he wants to set an example for the teams, like how to communicate and how to speak with the other members and how to uh, do a task easily and uh, uh, with smart work. Like being Doing hard work is only not enough. So doing smart work is also very important. So the leader wants to have both hard work and smart work. Thank you, Ramanisha. Wonderful point you gave. So uh, a leader should very be good. personally, uh, they should be perfect. Then only they can lead the team. Amazing point. Uh, thank you, Ramanisha, for your uh, points. Uh, next, okay. let me go on with the third question. Have you seen strong leadership uh, from your country or yours to anything, uh, give some example, tell us about it. Adnan sir, you are a student, you can point out any one of your students to present. Yeah. Uh, Ramin, you would, would you like to say something about it? The third question, have you seen a strong leadership, especially related to Pakistan? So you can talk about any leader uh, political also, and uh, you know the leader uh, ship in sports also. So it's up to you. Any leaders? Yeah. In that aspect, it's very difficult to sometimes view leaders, and I think that political leaders are not that worth to talk about here so i'll talk about some of my classmates which uh, which uh, really made me feel that they were leading a team and they gave the opportunity to everyone to do something of their own also that's it thank you amazing okay okay that's good uh, that's good. I mean, that is uh, the truth. Uh, she's actually yes. uh, talking she about... She's very perfect. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, basically, we see that uh, the leaders uh, from country to country, they differ. And uh, some countries have uh, visionary leaders. And you can... Those decisions which they take and the way they lead their country, 
is shown by the progress of the country, basically. And sometimes, you know, the, if the leadership is not that strong, those countries uh, basically they lag behind in progress. And uh, that is something, that's why the leadership is really important. And one thing is important that the leader should, should, be, should have the vision for the future. They should foresee what's happening, what is going to happen in the future, and then they lead their nations and the team. Yes? Amazing, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, let me go with my student, Bhavatarni. What is your point about the third question? Have you yes, seen while, any? Hmm. Yes, ma'am. While uh, hearing about this question, I heard and I, uh, I, I recent, uh, recently heard about a story of a man of India. He is the missile man. His story started when um, he, uh, uh, you know, when he was leading a team and he had a captain. Uh, when the whole team was worked on it, the whole team has given the best and they worked on in an immense way. On that period, that and their mission got failed. At the time, so many responsibilities, so many pressures, so many presses, medias, and so many mics and clicks were there. But while they, the captain of uh, APJ Abdul Kalam stood there in front, he took the responsibility. He answered every and every medias and reporters and presses. He answered everything and he protected APJ Abdul Kalam. Well, after a few years, uh, when this project was succeeded, he led APJ Abdul Kalam to answer all those presses and medias, the same presses and medias, those clicks and mics. He led him to talk it. So by this view, I got to know that a best leader always stands front in the failure, while in the success, he stands behind. For me, it's the great leadership, and I feel it's the best and a great uh, leadership ever I've seen. And I feel it's a strong and uh, immense uh, reaction before this failure and the success. And I would like to be um, a good leader like him in the future, and I like the way he uh, handled the situation. Thank you, Bhavatarni, for your wonderful points. That is true. APG Abdul Kalam is a great leader. Yeah, no doubt. Yes. Yes. And uh, basically, Ali wants to say something. Ali Rizwan. Yes, Can please. He? Yes. Yeah, please. Yeah. For sure. I have seen a great leader in my life, Imran Khan's leadership in Pakistan. I mean, it showcased a vision and resilience as he campaigned against corruption and sought the, all the economic reforms. I uh, like this focus on anti-corruption makers, healthcare and education, which aim to transform the country. I mean, despite all the challenges, his leadership emphasized transparency and national pride. As a captain, Amazing. captain also, he was a Pakistan cricket team captain. He led with strategic acumen and determination, guiding the team to victory in 1992 World Cup against England, which everyone knew. And his leadership inspired confidence. Yes. Thank you. Yes. That's good. Perfect. Very good. Perfect. Imran okay. Khan. Yes. Yeah. Thank Abdul you. Kalam Azad is is a great uh, individual, and people in Pakistan really uh, like him. The work yes. he has done. So no matter what your nationality is, if you are working, uh, you know, positively and inspiring people, uh, they all deserve our respect. Basically. Yes. True, sir. Very true. Okay, children, let us move on to the fourth question. What makes a great leader different from a good leader? So there are many leaders. Okay. Uh, so yeah. uh, what makes a great leader? Uh, anyone yeah. from Pakistan, I would like to honor uh, Adnan sir to choose anyone. Yes. Hazika, you go ahead, please. Whatever your thoughts are. Good leader versus a great leader. Yes. Great leader. What is your thought? Yes, Sajika. You are muted. Unmute yourself. Um, one, 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 second. one second. One second. One second. One second. Something is uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, happening. Sorry for that. It's okay. No. Great leader. Yeah. Yes, please. Yes. A great leader goes beyond the basics. They innovate and create a positive culture and are often um, transformational, like leading change in 
driving their team to exceed expectations. They have focus and the leaders may focus on tasks tasks while while great leaders may focus on results. Like they still they don't think there's um like leaders they think they're leaders but they don't think they're more than like a great lead uh, a good leader so they focus on tasks and create while while great leaders may focus on results great leaders may also be disruptive and innovative yeah perfect okay. perfect and very innovative yes wonderful yes. dear uh, let me call ramanisha from my class to answer this question fourth one what makes a great leader like uh, being a great leader he want to inspire and empower his team and uh, if he want to different want to be different from a good leader he want us i said before he want to be good in everything and he want to achieve what things to show how strong his team is so uh, not only working for a team is important achieving it is very important yes so there should be some goal uh, great leaders achieve that goal thank you thank you let very good ramanisha very, very good, good ramanisha let me go on with the next yeah. question why is communication important for leaders uh, let me call my student bhavatarini first uh, why yeah. communication is important for leaders bhavatarini uh, to be able to be a clear and a perfect leader communication is very very essential as the leader has to be clear and a good communicator towards their uh, you know teammates to be a clear and uh, understandable uh, leader to uh, give away the messages and the information and always the great leaders inspires and motivates them in uh, every person and in and every persons are a leader the main uh, building block of image is um, uh, is always the communication that stands and looks and uh, gives us a image of confidence and look of uh, fiery and inspirative uh, world and so to be a good leader as always a communication a good communication is always important not only achieving goals and objective is important uh, making information decisions and clear communication is also important to motivate the team and to inspire the team to be a building block of the team and to empower the team to success and to motivate them to engage them to their work is always important the communication thank you bhavan sir awesome. it's uh, wonderful yeah. let me call arnan Ar sir yeah yeah bhavarni will become a leader definitely <laughs> yes <laughs> sir she is a very okay. good student yeah oh, wonderful okay uh, next uh, i think ali you can talk about it if ali yeah, is yeah for sure sir it's good yeah. good. according to me communication is crucial for leaders as it clarifies goals builds trust and aligns team effort i mean effective communication ensures that expectations are understood feedback is shared and i mean the conflicts are also resolved it also inspires and motivates forcing a collaborative environment I mean, the team members feels very valued and engaged in achieving the common objectives, which is a great for the team. Thank you. That's amazing. Good. I think uh, uh, it's really wonderful to uh, discuss about uh, leadership. I'm so happy, sir. Uh, the session went so well, and your your students are amazing. I would like to hear the feedback now. Uh, let us hear what is the takeaway from this session. Anyone from Pakistan would Naveen, like to go ahead. share your uh, takeaway from this session? Yes, Rami. What is your takeaway from this session? Okay, so I learned some qualities people think are essential in a team leader. which is some uh, that they should be responsible, they should encourage teamwork or and they should be uh, responsible for their work and their mistakes and all that's it amazing very good Jeremy. thank very you good. let me call vaishnavi vaishnavi what is your take away from this session mm. 
Unmute and you can talk. Yeah, ma'am. I came to know about uh, how a leader should be and how they should support their team and uh, how they have to inspire and uh, a good leader should be in a proper way. First, they have to be in a uh, uh, perfect and they have to tell their team. So I came to know a lot about a leader and the communication skill is the main for uh, not only a leader, for normal people also because whatever we communicate should reach the person in a proper way so whatever we communicate should be in a clear and perfect manner so i came to know all about this in this class great great very good wonderful thank you Vishnavi. and thank, thank you, you sir, thank sir you. for our uh, thank you so uh, first much. session My thank you thank yes. you ali wonderful students thank you Thank you, Thank you all the students of uh, India, Pakistan. Thank you, Thank you so much. Really so nice you. meeting you all. Yes, sir. So this is a series of six sessions. So we completed our first session. Okay. I'm so happy. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Right. Let us meet again. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Yes, yes. Bye-bye.